Hey, it's Matt O'Neill here from Matt O'Neill Real Estate, and I'm holding a book by someone named Jen Sincero, and she wrote this book called You Are a Badass. And our entire company had the opportunity to read this book as part of a book club, and we chose this book uh, back in May because all of us in our company, myself included, were feeling some type of fear and doubt at some points in time because of the impact coronavirus was making on the world, our lives, people we care about. And so we wanted to read a book that would put us into what we consider to be really empowering emotions. And Jen's book was just that. Today we had a book club with some people in our company who had read the book and we all had a pretty big discussion. And I want to just leave you with a few points that were our biggest takeaways, our biggest ahas, because we think that maybe they could have a positive impact in other people's lives too. So that's why we're sharing this today. You know, I just want to name four things that really had a big impact on us. And the first is Einstein. Einstein E equals MC squared. What this equation means is energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Big math equation, uh, but what it really means is that mass equals energy divided by the speed of light squared. Everything from me to this book to this paper to the planets to animals and trees, everything, rocks, tables, everything is vibrating, everything is made of energy. We as human beings are made of energy and Jen argues that the peak performance of energy to be a badass and stop doubting yourself and live your best life means that you need to be in high vibration energy. High vibration energy is what you get from feeling excited, passionate, joyful, you know, have you ever noticed when you're really excited and passionate, you use your voice louder, you use your hand gestures bigger, you smile, your shoulders are back, you are more of life. And when you're in low vibration energy, which happens to be negativity, doubt, anger, fear, jealousy, sadness, depression, that typically you get smaller and your voice gets lower and your results get smaller and your life gets smaller. So one of the things that she says is a key to being a badass is finding things that light you up, that make you feel on fire and get into as much high vibration energy as possible because that is the number one key, according to Jen, of success. You know, she then goes on to talk about, and this is the second thing I'm going to talk about. She says that if you're sad, you're thinking of the past. And if you're anxious or worried, you're thinking of a future that hasn't happened yet. And if you're at peace, you're in this moment. You're in the present. Peace can only be found in this present moment. If, you're, if you find yourself, and this is awareness of your own emotions, sad, it's probably because, as Jen says, that you're thinking of things in the past that hurt. And if you find yourself feeling anxious and worried, which is a state that I found myself in, admittedly, during the height of coronavirus, and still sometimes now, it's because I'm thinking of a future that hasn't happened yet, such as thinking of people I care about that might get the virus, or thinking of business owners that I know that whose businesses might not do well, or thinking of people I know who I love who, who lost their jobs, or thinking of people who lost loved ones, or who might lose loved ones. And lost loved ones already in past tense would be making me sad thinking of the past, and might lose loved ones would be thinking of something that may or may not happen in the future which could create, create anxiety. The only peace and joy can be found from living in this moment. And in this moment, in this exact moment, is where we can actually find peace. For me, that was one of my biggest takeaways from the whole book. I'm going to hit just two more. And Jen ends every single chapter with one thing. Every chapter, she says, love yourself. The premise, if I could break this book down into just one theme, 
It's Jen's theme of love yourself. And what she means by love yourself is to have the unshakable ability to forgive your lowest self, to let go of shame, guilt, fear, and self-criticism, and to give yourself compassion. Give yourself compassion that you would give to a small child. Love yourself so much that you forgive yourself for anything that you're holding on to or beating yourself up about. Because if you can love yourself and forgive yourself and give yourself compassion, you can find the way to get into high energy vibrations, which the high energy vibrations make you feel joyful and happy. And when you're joyful and happy, what are you doing? You're lighting up and being joyful and happy for other people who probably need it right now. And when you're not loving yourself, when you're beating yourself up, your vibrations are lower. You might be creating some anger. You might yell at somebody. When I'm in low vibrations, I might snap at my kids. I might snap at my wife. These are ways that, that I'm creating more, pa more pain, more sadness, more anger, more resentment in the world, and that doesn't help anything. So the key, according to Jen, is to love yourself, get into high energy vibrations, and light up the world by you being lit up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want, check out the book. Thanks so much and have a great day.